Hey, Ed here from Wybell Fitness. In this pod, we're gonna work for a minute and a half doing two exercises. We'll do four reps of the first exercise and five reps of the second. We'll take a short 15 second break and then we're gonna do 45 seconds groundwork. We'll repeat that same structure, but with different exercises and that'll be one round. We're gonna to aim to do three full rounds. Okay, so we'll set our timer. So first two exercises are gonna be a dumbbell twist curl into a dumbbell squat press. Four reps of the twist curl, five reps of the squat press. So, feet together, middle handle, top lock. Let's go. One, two, three, and four. Into that loose grip, feet apart, weights up onto the shoulders. We do five squat presses. One, two, Three, four, five, good. And again, four dumbbell twist curls. One, two, three, four. Into that loose grip, up onto the shoulders. Five squat presses. One, two, three, four, Five. And again, feet together, top lock. One, two, three, four. Into that loose grip, feet apart. Five squat presses. One, two, three, four, five. And down we go. So we're into our A-frame position. 15 second break. We're gonna do push-up rows for 45 seconds. So make sure we're crushing the tops of these, these handles, feet wide. So let's go. Push up with a row. Push up, row on the other side. Push up, row. Push up, row on the other side. And we just keep doing this for 45 seconds. Crushing the handles, trying to resist rotating too much through the hips while we're doing the row. 15 to go. Good. Okay, 15 second break. Now we're gonna do kettlebell exercises for four and five. We're gonna do rack lunges for four, high swings for five. So picking the wire bells up, outer handle, rack grip. Let's go. Back lunges, one, two, three, four. And now we've got high swings. So loading back, one, two, three, four, five. Up into the rack position again, four back lunges. One, two, three, four. High swings for five. One, two, three, four, five. Back up into that rack position. Four rack lunges, huh, four, yeah, rack lunges. One, two, three, four, five high swings. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay, down we go. 15 second break. We're in a chest position now, so the handle's going across the body. We've got 45 seconds. 
chest burpees. So we're going to hinge to get down, we're going to crush the handles. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And 10. That's one round, and we're gonna try and do two more rounds. So we're starting with our dumbbells again. Four and five, twist curls, squat presses. Let's pick them up, middle handle, top lock. Let's go, twist curl, one. Once we've done four, up onto the shoulders for squat press. For five, one, two, three, four, five. Feet together again, top lock, four twist curls. One, two, three, four. Loose grip, feet apart, up onto the shoulders. Five squat presses. Feet together again. Four twist curls. Loose grip, feet apart. Weights on the shoulders. Five squat presses. And down we go. So into that A-frame position. So the handles are in a bit of an A-frame. We've got our push-up rows. 45 seconds worth. Aiming for around 10, let's go. And up again. Okay, so now we've got the kettlebell exercises for a minute and a half. Four rack lunges, five high swings. Looking at around three rounds of this. Microphone's getting in the way. <laughs> okay, let's go. One, two, three, four. And then we've got our high swings for five. Back into that rack position for our rack lunges. Then our high swings. Rack position again, back lunges.
into those high swings. Good, down we go. Chest push up position. Just remember weights or handles going across the body. We've got chest burpees. Hinging to get down, crushing the handles. And let's go. I know I'm aiming for 10. That's what I got last time in that 45 seconds. There's 10 here. And resting, that's two rounds. One to go. So we know we're aiming for three rounds of these two exercises in that minute and a half. Just trying to maintain that now if we can. Picking them up, middle handle, top lock, feet together. Let's go. That's four, up onto the shoulders. Once our feet are apart. That's five. And again for the curls. Twist curls. Feet apart, onto the shoulders, squat press. Remember five reps. Back to those twist curls for four. Loose grip, feet apart, up onto the shoulders, squat press for five. Now we go into that A-frame position again, crushing the handles, push-up rows, trying to resist rotating through the hip when we're doing the row. Feet wide, let's go. And up again. Okay, 15 seconds break. Starting to sweat, starting to puff. We've got our kettlebell, four back lunges, rack position, and then our five high swings. One and a half minutes. So up into that rack position. Let's go. Five high swings. Back into those four rack lunges. Whew, 
five high swings. Into that rack position again for our rack lunges. Five high swings. Into that chest position. Sweat coming out everywhere. So chest burpees to finish guys. Remember we're looking for a round 10 or whatever you've been getting. In the last two rounds, we're trying to maintain that. Let's go. Make sure we're crushing those handles. Try and not let the hips to sag down in that push-up phase. I like to hinge to get down here as opposed to squatting. And that's time guys, so that's our pod. 16 minutes or just over. A little bit of dumbbell work, kettlebell work, ground work, some low fixed reps of four and five. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll put a link on here to a nice warm down, stretch down, if you wanna get straight into that. Otherwise, feel free to play around and do some more of your own um, pods or white belt training. Thank you, see you soon.